it has been another freezing cold night last night i don't think i slept after one o'clock so i probably only got about four or five hours sleep and it's strange because i wasn't actually physically cold but my sleeping bag was and everything else was frozen and you know when you're just not warm enough to sleep i think it was one of those despite wearing all my layers and having my sleeping bag liner in my sleeping bag it was just like having a chill but my skin was kind of lukewarm it wasn't like i was freezing so it was really strange i think i've just got to now accept the fact that i'm not gonna sleep well out here while it's so cold so I am down to single digits for how many days of hiking I've got left now, which is amazing. I think I've probably only got about a total of nine days left, which is incredible if everything goes to plan. So yeah, it's, it feels weird saying that because it's usually weeks or months, but when you just look at it as like nine days, it's crazy, absolutely crazy. And there's part of me that still can't quite believe that I'm going to finish because everything's still unknown I mean I found out um, I was reading some comments the other day and the area that I'll be heading to within like a day or two of the end around the Mount Hood area somebody got lost up there just a couple of I think it was about a week or so ago because the snow has been that bad what it did was it drifted onto the trail and has caused a complete whiteout so he got stranded up there search and rescue had to go out and he was up there for a couple of days until he got found and Things like that really scare me because I'm thinking, is it still going to be that bad when I get there? Am I going to have to look at going round it somehow? Anything can happen and also I don't have Wi-Fi or internet access at the moment. So I've got no idea what's going to happen to the weather over the next nine days until I get to a town and actually sit down and work it out all properly. And it's weird because I feel like I can't settle. Um, if there was no snow, I know without a doubt I can finish this. I feel physically fit enough and fine to finish this. but it's something like that that might end up stopping me and it oh it'd be awful right at the end to not be able to do it but i can't worry about it too much i can only take it one day at a time and do what i can so something i will not miss about trail is the ability not being able to read basically last night when i woke up at one in the morning i was just lying there curled up into a little ball as low down in my sleeping bag as possible thinking if i was at home and i couldn't sleep i'd put my bedside lamp on go down and make a cup of tea come back up and read or sit down on the sofa and read and i love reading i'm a complete book geek <laughs> and it's oh, I, I miss books so that's something i'm not going to miss about trail is the fact that there's never time to read and when i do want to i can't because i'm either too cold or it's i just can't carry a book with me something i will miss about the trail though is the fact that it's such a simple life out here it's not an easy life but it's simple I notice that when I get into towns or the thought of going home, there's a lot of feelings there. I think it's like an overwhelm of knowing that I'm going to have to sort out bills, my car. I mean, everything's been taken care of while I'm away. You know, all the mortgage is getting sorted out, all my bills are coming out by direct debit. But it's getting back to reality and knowing all that busyness is going to be there and having to sort things out and do things. And your life isn't always just your own. You know, you have to go shopping and get food you've got to run errands and things like that whereas out here it is just so simple you kind of get up you have breakfast you hike you eat you get to camp and you sleep and eat again <laughs> and that's pretty much it the only thing you have to do out here is when you get to a town is do things like your laundry shower <laughs> and get your food for the week and that's it you're back to simple life again that is something I will miss. I love the simplicity. So I'm hoping I'll be able to carry a lot of this into um, my, my world when I get home, which would be amazing. So I've been hiking for a little while. I'm just starting to feel my feet and hands again. It has been that cold and it is a beautiful day. I'm not going to lie. It is freezing cold, but it's a beautiful sunny day. I think I've got too much sun on the camera. Sorry about that. And yesterday was a lovely sunny day but the wind was utterly freezing so I don't think I warmed up hardly all day long but today feels still which is nice so I'm going to see how far I can get and then hopefully in the next day or so two I will get to Bend or Sisters I haven't decided where I'm staying next 
but I will probably run out of battery on my camera and I've only got two charges left for my phone on my power bank because the cold just zaps everything. So I'm going to see what I can do, see how much footage I can keep going with. So apologies if I miss some towards the end, but I'll do my best. incredible is happening there's no snow on the trail there's tiny little bit of patches either side of it oh it has been so pleasant it's still crunchy when I'm walking on it because the mud has actually frozen so it still sounds like I'm walking on snow oh it's so nice I've been walking like this maybe 10 whole minutes <laughs> no ice no snow oh yeah I could easily get to the Bridge of the Gods if the trail carried on like this. Hmm, I think that's just wishful thinking at the moment though. walking through that patch of no snow and ice lasted a whole 12 minutes <laughs> it is really changing the scenery today it's all this type of rock up here if you can see I think it's all volcanic obviously I'm now in the three sisters wilderness and I'd read that it starts changing at this point all becoming old vol volcanoes and different type of scenery than what I'm used to so it's gonna be really interesting to see something different as long as it's not all covered in snow that is but it has been a lovely little walk this morning because I've been down at about 5,000 to 5,500 feet all day so even though it's been cold it's not been unbearable and I've hardly done much hills or descents it's been quite flies very pleasant indeed <laughs> the trail's actually given me a little bit of a break for a change I'm going to enjoy it while it lasts tell you the other day oh I felt so silly I was climbing over all these tree trunks 
being careful in the snow, knee deep, <laughs> managed to get through the whole day unscathed. And then right at the very end of the day, I went over this, <laughs> this little tree trunk. Seriously, it was about that far off the ground. And I caught my foot. <laughs> And I am now living up to my trail name because I did fly. I pulled a Tinkerbell. <laughs> I literally got one foot over, went to step over with my other foot and went flying in the air. It was only for a second before I went thud on the floor, landed on my knees and my elbows. And I was just lying there in the snow, just still with my pack kind of at the side of me and me in a crumpled heap. And it was that horrible moment of, is this it? <laughs> is it all over? Have I broken something? Over a tiny little twig on the floor. And then I tentatively, tentatively started moving. And it was nothing more than a couple of bruises, but oh my gosh, when I woke up the other morning to two big black knees, <laughs> I was like, oh. So I'm still carrying a quite a potent Arnie Care lotion with me that I rub on sore spots, so like ligaments and joints and things. So I've been doing that for a couple of days to take the bruising out and it seems to be working, but you know, I'm coming this far, I've gone through so much. I can't be taken out in my final, you know, moments. <laughs> so I just thought I'd share that with you. I'm just having one of those clumsy moments every now and then. I think what it is, it's at the end of an eve, sorry, at the end of a day, Sorry, I can't talk today. At the end of the day, your body just gets tired and your feet just stop working properly. And there's something that you just would normally be fine with. You just trip over everything. Yeah. Oh, I'm following prints. I wonder what these are. I have just come around the corner and seen these mountains. Oh my goodness, look at this. <laughs> oh wow, in the distance, there's the three sisters. Oh my goodness, sorry, I'm just trying to find a better viewpoint for you. Um, let me go around the corner. Oh, I've been looking forward to seeing these. And what a beautiful day to see them on. I believe up here I've got South sister, middle sister, and north sister. <laughs> so, wow, this is incredible. Look at that view.